and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the start of my second Sims series. This is going to be series two. And basically my first series was a bit of like a trial to see how I would be able to film them and stuff like that. And I wasn't really happy with, you know, the videos that I made. But I'm going to try and post one of these um, Sims videos like whenever I can. Like not particularly often, but they're going to be different. So it's going to be like building things, might be some gameplay. But I'm more into watching and making videos where I'm like renovating the houses. So today I am going to be renovating one of the like base game houses on, what is this? It's like the desert one. I can't remember what it's called. Um but yeah i have used some cheats to get more money so i've got 124,000 simoleons because i just i don't want to earn the money basically i am going to be renovating this like to my personal taste so um let's go right so this is what the house looks like it is interesting I don't know what this bit is. <laughs> okay, this bit is weird. Um, no idea. Uh, but we'll work with it. So I'm gonna, you know, try and keep everything like structurally the same. I'm just gonna change like the furniture and stuff like that. Um, so let's have a go. It's very dark in here, so we're gonna get some lights straight away. So I'm just gonna throw in a few lights. this is dark right so where's the front door then is this the front door apparently that's the front door right well I don't like that door so we're gonna change that door hmm I kind of like this door might go for this door windows these are my favorite windows so i'm not going to change these i do really like these windows on the outside um right i'm going to go and do the inside now a couple of my characters are sat in here so they could probably get out the goddamn way right the walls are so plain we need to change these walls straight away Something more warm tone, like doesn't that just brighten up the room so much more when it's like a warm kind of colour? I like the bookshelf on the wall, so I'll keep that. Um, I'll put the wall in the kitchen, especially that side to be the same. Jesus, the kitchen is tiny! Right, TV mate, you can go. We'll get you a nice TV. I'll keep that table actually. I've got basically unlimited money, so I'm just gonna get them a nice TV. Oh, I like that picture. Pop that picture there and pop this picture here. Or do I like that picture? No, I don't like that picture now I've looked at it. <laughs> yeah, I like that one better. Um, the sofa can go. Let's get a nice sofa. I want this kind of vibe of this place to feel quite, um, like, nice, if you know what I mean. So, like, it's a small, tiny flat, but it's decorated really, like, kind of like they've got money, but they just don't want a big house sort of thing. Um, a plant. We've got to have a plant. No space for this plant. Ah, we can have him there. And then I think we can have a lamp in the background. I quite like this lamp. Put it in red to match the rest 
of the kind of colour scheme that we're going for which is kind of like a red vibe actually if we're going for a red colour scheme I'm going to make the plant red because you can do that yeah there we go or is that too much red I don't think it's too much red I think it's nice I am actually going to pop another smaller plant in the corner might have it as a black base there we go and then I might just pop a mirror behind them yeah that will do it's decent so far um, I'm gonna change it the like the carpet to carpet and I might have it like that I like this carpet because it like brightens up the room and then when we get to the kitchen I'll change it to whatever the kitchen is um, I feel like I need something else that's not the living room oh I'm on a fireplace maybe we can move this bookshelf somewhere and we can get in the fireplace oh I want to make space for this fireplace. There we go. Right, it doesn't seem like it fits in. <laughs> we will make it work by moving things around. To make it make work. Okay, so if someone sat there, that can go there, the bookshelf's there, the mirror. Where can the mirror go? The mirror can go there, even though no one will look in the mirror if it's there. Okay, and then we can pop a few bits and bobs on the top. I really like this statue. Can we go for red? Don't think we can really, can we? Or can we? <laughs> I feel like we've just got too much red going on, but I do like it being red. What else do we have? Oh, I quite like this actually. I'll have that instead. We can get rid of you, mates. There we go. And then we can just pop on a few little plants and things like that. Just to spice it up a little bit. See what we've got. There we go. Right, um... So I'm quite liking the living room so far. Now I'm actually gonna go and do the rest of the house and I will do a voiceover of me doing the rest, like a little speed build. And then at the end we will come and have a look and I will give you my opinions of what I've done. So the living room is now done and I just kind of move on to the kitchen. I get rid of this wall in the middle because it takes up space that we don't need and basically delete everything that is in the kitchen. We need to optimise the space and make the most out of what we've got. I also get rid of windows. I don't have any windows in the kitchen so I don't know if that's a bad idea or not but that's just what I decided to do. I also popped some lino on the floor. I think that's quite a good thing to have as a floor in a kitchen because if you have any spillages it's easy to wipe them up so I'm just kind of picking like my cabinets and my fridge and everything like that I actually really love these cabinets and I also love that oven oh my god I love that oven I don't know why I just, I just really like that oven but yeah these cabinets in particular I like the color and just everything about it I did actually decide to swap out the fridge for this black one because I felt like it fitted in more with the oven 
and I also add in a sink which again matches both of them so I really like the fact that this kitchen kind of matches each other I add some plants and kind of more clutter items just to make it feel a bit more lived in because I think without you know items like a fruit bowl or a cake stand it just doesn't look like sims actually live there so i just add in random bits and bobs and i saw this black teapot and i thought yes that is good <laughs> that fits in with the kitchen so yeah i actually really love in the kitchen when i was making this then i spent far too long trying to figure out how to put the um cabinets like at the top as cupboards um, and trying to make it look nice and neat and yeah so it's just basically clips of me just trying to fit everything in and see what happens but eventually I do get there and I couldn't really understand you know why it wasn't working for me but eventually I got it to where I was happy with how it was looking. I think this kitchen is actually really nice and cosy. I don't know what it is about it but I, I like the coziness, it's nice and there's something about it where you know you don't necessarily need a big kitchen and I just felt like this was perfect for this particular sort of sims build for like a single person that's living alone even though I did accidentally make two sims so there is actually two women living in this but never mind. Um, but yeah, that's the kitchen. So I'm super happy with that. And I did just put some wallpaper on as well. I thought because they don't have a table, I will do a little circular table in the middle. I popped on like two chairs as well. I know it kind of gets in the way, but you know, it is just a, a little place for them to stay until they kind of move on to something else. But I thought they need a table. Now the bathroom was the hardest thing for me to do. It was difficult to see because it's so small and the walls just make it difficult for me to sort of, you know, actually see into the bathroom. So it was a bit of a tricky one for me um, doing this and I didn't really particularly like it, but you know, it's okay, um, I guess, you know. We'll, we'll deal with it um but basically oh actually looking back i don't think i changed the floor in the bathroom no i didn't never mind if i was to redo this i would actually change the floor in the bathroom but i added in this like bath shower thing which i quite liked um it does take up a lot of space so in hindsight maybe i shouldn't have popped that in there but i did want to you know add items that were a little bit more unique like the toilet is a little bit sort of old-fashioned and um, yeah, I like the sink that I chose as well. And I think it all kind of matches quite well in the bathroom. But yeah, I still don't know how I feel about the wallpaper in the bathroom actually. It looks kind of like plaster. So this is when I'm kind of just adding in some of the like cluttery items just to make the bathroom look again more lived in. There's a dressing gown, toilet roll, um, there's what's it called a towel rail and I added in this cupboard and popped again a plant on top which I actually really like that plant in the bathroom and then like a toothbrush holder so you know the bathroom is all right I felt like the walls looked quite plain so I was thinking oh you know what else can I add so I added in a mirror and also a couple of pictures that you'll see in a minute not sure about pictures in a bathroom is that normal I don't know like does anybody else have paintings in the bathroom will it ruin the painting I don't know but we we're keeping it in there for now so um that was the bathroom done i now moved on to the bedroom which was very basic oh my god well this whole build was very basic to start with and obviously these two women are going to have to share the bedroom but you know maybe they're friends i don't know maybe they're in a relationship i have no idea i accidentally made two um but yeah i chose this bed and two cabinets i quite like the kind of like old-fashioned themed of everything here i also really like the windows that are in here as well these are my favorite windows in sims they're just let a lot of light in and they're nice and big and that's why i like them but i did add a curtain over the one next to the bed I also included in this nice mirror, which I really liked, and another painting, just to kind of make it feel more homely and just more cozy. And I don't really like the walls to be bare in my builds or when I'm building a house on Sims, because I just feel like it just looks unrealistic. But then I try and find a nice little cabinet for them because they can put their clothes in it and they can sit at it and do their makeup. So I did add um, like body care products and things onto the cabinet just to make it look like that's what they use it for so um yeah i was quite happy with the bedroom and i do actually change the wallpaper in a second and i change it to like a purpley shade 
and yeah I don't particularly like it like looking back I wish I'd use a different color but we live and learn never mind um but yeah it's an all right shade but it's just a quite pink and girly and i don't know i guess it is actually all right now looking back at it to be honest but yeah so um that is everything for this build i just went back and added in um, another picture but overall that is everything then for the exterior i spent ages trying to figure out how to get rid of this this is hideous i hate this i don't like it it looks stupid you know no offense if your house looks like this but i don't like that thing it, it just looks weird so i just get rid of that and i just think it's unnecessary basically but you know maybe i'm wrong maybe it's actually quite nice i don't know i then add some grass around the outside parts because i just feel like there's too much sand going on in this desert we need some grass you know they might end up having pets they might have children that need to play so we need to add in some grass and i also do actually add in a swimming pool as well in the back and I've never had a Sims house with a pool, so I'm actually going to play um, using the characters with this build. I won't film it, but I will, you know, in my own time. So I'm looking forward to them using the swimming pool. I added some tarmac at the front. That's where they can like park cars and things. I know they don't have cars in Sims, but if they did have cars, that is where it would go. I added in a few trees. I really like the pink trees in the background and... Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I've done. Don't know what happened there, I do apologise. I have now finished. I didn't even realize I was filming for 42 minutes because my screen recording is 42 minutes. My tea is now cold. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Um, but I was actually really happy with that um, build. I think for me, the fa my favorite part personally was, I like the kitchen. I actually really like the kitchen. I personally think that even like small spaces can be made to look really nice and cozy and I kind of like the cozy feel so I personally really love that kitchen and then we've got the living room which I also really liked kind of the style of everything and it's very much kind of like to my taste um, the bathroom you couldn't really see too well didn't particularly like the bathroom so if I was gonna you know do that again I'd probably make that a bit bigger um, and then the bedroom I quite liked. If there's anything I would change, it would probably be the wallpaper. I'm not sure on the color, but it is a place for uh, one person despite me accidentally making it for two, but never mind. Uh, but yeah, I really liked it. And then the outside area, I just added a bunch of random trees and a swimming pool, uh, but overall I'm really happy. Sorry, my camera battery died, but what I was gonna say is that I really like this build. I'm very happy with it, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe.